So what is theory of constraints meant to me and to the organization? Actually, I'll be very honest. In 2009, I had to sit by and I lost a son to leukemia. And I had to sit by and, and, and watch that happen. And because it's not my field of expertise, I could do nothing. So I determined to take some action. And through a series of events, I won the Dale T. Huell Fellowship in Theory of Constraints in 2010 and created from that uh, the Human Lung Lab at the Cleveland Clinic. Now, what the Theory of Constraints is about, it's about creation, about creating something out of nothing, about taking an idea. In this case, it was to make organs uh, easier to transplant. Currently, only 17% of harvested lungs are used for transplant. We've created a center, an organ reconditioning rescue resuscitation center using theory of constraints uh, thinking. And so far in our early stages, we've rescued and resuscitated six out of six humans' lungs, meaning we could take those and put them into inventory. We're not to that stage yet, but we're getting there. It's been so successful that now we've been attacked, uh, approached by the liver guys, and so we're going to put together a center for organ rescue, resuscitation, and transplant. So we can recondition all organs that are harvested and retransplant them into people's lungs. So for me, people's bodies. So for me, what Theory of Constraints is about is taking an idea and making something out of nothing that has uh, an impact beyond all talent.